Alright guys, we have four videos today. Count them out for me in the comment section below. There is so much to cover and the fourth one is a, it's it's just funny. So make sure you get it. You probably won't get notified. But let's jump into it. Let's talk about some depressing. Let's talk about some some exposure for the mainstream fake news. We'll also talk about a stormtrooper who got arrested. And we're also going to talk about a girl whose parents win the Douchebag of the Year award. So, count them out. Four videos. But let's jump into it. First one. Dallas Sloan owner who ripped up cease and desist litter says that she'll stay open despite the risk of arrest. So, uh, Dallas owner is refusing to close her shop despite the stay-at-home rules and multiple court orders to serve to her. Shelley Luther, who owns a saloon, uh, a la model, a la mode, is being sued by the Dallas city officials who have filed a restraining order against her for violating the beer bug related shutdown orders. Last week, Luther receives a cease and desist letter from the Dallas County General, uh, Jenny, Dallas County Judge Clay Jenkins, ordering her to close the saloon. Well, we have a bit of an update. Texas saloon owner refused to apologize to the judge for working to feed her kids during a lockdown. Oh boy, this is going to get spicy. So a Dallas hair saloon owner in a contempt of hearing for reopening her business under lockdown told the judge that feeding my kids is not selfish. Her comments came after the judge offered her the opportunity to avoid jail time by apologizing and admitting her actions were wrong. I have to disagree with you, sir, when I tell you that I'm selfish for reopening the salon. Salon, a model owner, Shelley Luther, Shelley Luther, might be mispronouncing, told Judge Eric Moroy uh, during contempt of court proceedings broadcasted on the internet and tweeted by Z, uh, CBSDFW reporter Andrea Larisha because feeding my kids is not selfish. Judge Eric Moy, Moy might be pronouncing, pre, uh, presides over the 14th Civil District Court located in Dallas County. Dallas County issued an order to Luther requiring her to close the business after she opened in defiance of the stay-at-home orders. Luther told the judge uh, that I have a hairstylist that are going hungry because they'd rather feed their kids. So, sir, if you think the law is more important than kids getting fed, please go ahead with your decision, but I'm not going to shut the saloon. Prior to her statement, Judge Moroy, uh, Moy said that she must see the error of her ways and understand that society cannot function where one's own belief is in contempt of liberty permits you to flaunt your disdain for the ruling of duty elected officials. In other words, bow before my ear. Um, Lisha reports that judge offered her jail for seven days and fined her $500 for every day the same saloon remains open. So far, the fine stands at $3,500. Luther's attorney said that he would appeal the judge's ruling. The contempt of hearing occurred about the time Texas Governor Greg Abbott announced the hair salons and gyms could reopen on Friday. Read prior coverage, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Now, I will say that there is also a fundraiser at the moment. And if I refresh this, it is up to $318,000. I will put a link in the description below. If you feel like giving to them, so be it. I'm not, in, I'm not, I'm just reporting on it. I don't care if you do or don't. To be honest, I think she has more than enough money at the moment. Um, it does go towards cover her legal fees. So, as well as any court fees or anything like that. So, I think she's pretty much got it covered, but if you do feel like donating, obviously, link in the description below. Right. So, um, what's my thoughts on this? Oh, oh boy. Let's have a drink first. Look, at the end of the day, I get where the judge is coming from. The fact that, you know, you can't have people just going through and, and actually going through and and flouting the law right i get that but that said it's also a case of you know hey we have kids to feed we have bills to pay 
You know, I, I, is the judge going to pay her mortgage? Is the judge going to pay her her rent on the property or on the business? No. Is the business still going to want her to pay those? Yes. So she has bills to pay and she is getting more and more in debt by every day that that business would be closed. And these government assistances that have gone out to everybody, they help the employees but not the employers so much, especially the small businesses. They really do, they do feel it, all right? There's some assistance there, don't get me wrong, but I imagine it wouldn't cover half of what she's got. And saloons, look, some of them are really profitable. Some of them run really close to the margin. So, you know, like I say, I get it. Like, And she says here, that she has hairstylists who are contractors who are working and at the end of the day they've got a choice do I feed me or do I feed my kid and they're feeding their kids and going hungry themselves now look probably a hyperbolic statement sure maybe but I don't know we're up to day 49 day 50 of this now you know like is, is it enough enough you know, like two months almost, you know, like how, how long is this supposed to stay? I, I hear the argument about the elderly being infected and dying from this. Sure, I get that. But, you know, the good old adage, the good old antage, you know, those who give up their freedoms for security deserve neither. I'm paraphrasing a little bit here. But yeah, no, I think this is, I think this is bad. I think, I think at the end of the day, I, I get the facts that that she opened, I get that. Uh, she obviously has to have some sort of fine. I get that, maybe. But throwing her in jail for seven days? Um, on the bright side, at least now the Republicans probably going to have another voter because it's Democrats doing this. So Democrat governor. So yeah, good way to go through and make Trump win the election more. It's just keep doing this because he's looking better than ever. But guys, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Generally, I think this is really kind of scary. Like, they're already going to fine her three and a half thousand dollars plus she's going to be in jail for seven days. Like, it does really does seem excessive for a ki for a mother who's trying to feed her kids, or for a, a, a employer who's trying to get employees to feed their kids. Like, and I'm pretty sure there's laws that stop you from from the government from forcing you to do something if it endangers your own self-life or or that of your family. So, like, for example, the government can't order people to jump off a roof, for example. So, yeah, I don't know if you can make that argument, but it'll be interesting to see what happens. Um, yeah, but like I say, if you do want to support her GoFundMe, obviously it's here. It's up to 318000 319000 it is climbing fast. It really is. Earlier today, it was just shy of 100,000. So in less than 24 hours, it's jumped 200 and something thousand dollars. So it's definitely trending and a lot of people are giving to it. So good on her. Good on the, the crowdfunding. And, and look, I presume she's obviously set up for this. So that'll be great for her. Um, and, and look... Yeah, I don't know. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Do you side with the judge here? Do you think the judge was heavy-handed? Do you side with the, the woman here? Do you think that at the end of the day, the judge should have just given her a $500 fine, maybe? I would have been happy with that. You know, like, hey, here's $500 fine. You know, don't do it again, you know, sort of thing. But I don't know. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. If this video has been helpful, please smack that like button. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. Apart from that, guys, I'll see you in the next demonetized video. There is going to be four today, and I have got a splitting headache, so I'm hopefully hoping to get through them fast. But, uh, yeah, let's jump into it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.